I'm hiding in my scarf because I don't want to turn the heating on because <laughs> heating is expensive. So it's currently Saturday and I'm just editing last week's vlog. I have a lot to do. I was doing my to-do list this morning and this I'm now officially broken up from uni so this is like the first week of not having uni. So yeah I'm just sort of working out how much time I have and when to do things. I have three big to-do lists just on my wall and <laughs> they're just staring at me. There they are, my big old to-do lists. Oh it zooms really far, oh my gosh. Wow, I what it looks like on my face when it's just <laughs> I was really depressed that all my flatmates are leaving so I had a mild bar for breakfast. <laughs> but they've pretty much all gone home now except Lizzie and Helen, I think Helen's still here. Not sure when she's leaving. But I've just got so much to get on with anyway that it's kind of good that I don't have the distraction. But, yeah. But I've got like six more days here and then I'm going home. The first thing I have when I go home is the dentist. Isn't that nice? This morning I am editing and then I'm going to start making my first garment. So I'm going to bring you guys along and show you making the garment and everything like that. I hope you enjoy. Also at the end of this vlog I'm going to try and include more of my friends and Christmassy stuff because I haven't done much of that yet this year. I'm also taking Zach to the Christmas lights at Blenheim which he doesn't know about yet. Um, so I'm going to try and film a bit of that for this vlog because that would be nice. So yeah, that is update for today. Okay, so the dress is coming along. I've got this much done so far. Piping all went really well, which I was so scared about. <laughs> I was going to have it in contrasting fabric, the piping, but I ran out of the other fabric and so I chose to just use this fabric. I didn't think I'd actually have enough of this fabric, but I did and I could have done it in contrasting with the darker check I have of this but don't really have time <laughs> but yeah I'm going to move on and do the skirts now I went to the gym this morning so I'm feeling nice and fresh I had a shower and then I made some vegetable soup which kind of made me feel a bit sick because <laughs> my reflux can't really like deal with that many vegetables but it'll be okay I had a runny <laughs> so yeah now I am just sewing for the rest of the day I've got lots be done today. Does anyone else just love the sensation of just putting lip moisturiser or lip gloss or anything like this on your lips? Mm. I've also started blow drying my hair completely upside down for like the whole time I blow dry it and it's given me so much more volume. I've also straightened it a little bit. So much more volume because often when I want it straight I want to have volume at the same time but I can't couldn't seem to like get it right but now I've found a way I'm 
so I'm working on the dress length now. Just thought I'd show you how long <laughs> this panel is I'm gonna have to attach to the waistband. So it's all gonna be gathered and then I'll attach it. But... This is it. <laughs> and when I gather, um, I just put it on a really wide stitch, normally about four. This is my machine, and you know me. I just do that, make sure I back tack a little bit first so it like holds a base, and then don't do it at the end so you can pull the two strings. I do two lines and then pull it out, and then it gathers it all. So this is what it looks like, all gathered up now. And now I'm gonna attach the top to the gathering. And I have to make sure the gathering's even when I'm attaching it, otherwise it can look wrong. Next, I am moving on to the cuffs. So this is what my cuff piece looks like. So it's got three big rectangles and then I interface the middle section and it all folds up like this. Don't add seam allowance onto the bottom one because it's just going to be flush with that part. And then here you have a one centimeter seam allowance that you can sew on the inside of the cuff. So this is my sleeve that's going to be gathered into the cuff. And I put some bias in a little loophole. So this is where the opening is going to be, which is at the back of the sleeve. And I'm going to gather all of this and then first stitch the one centimetre seam allowance onto the back. That gets stitched inside, so it will sit like that inside. And then this just folds up, but before you fold it up and stitch it down, you flip it like this and you stitch down the sides, down the sides, and then you can just turn it inside out, stitch it down and you've done a cuff. And I have no idea if I explained that very well, but if you're interested in how a cuff's made, <laughs> that is it. I might try and, I'll try and show you the little step by steps, because it's quite interesting. Just done a double row of stitch on a really wide setting. I'm just gonna pull that all together and show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like all gathered up and then I'm going to just fit that around this cuff and measure it out. So I've just sewn the cuff on the inside and I attached the gathered side and then you just pull it out of the sleeve and then, and then this is when you create the sides so you fold it over like that and make sure these are even on both sides. Sew down the sides, and then you'll turn it inside out and it will have sides. And then all you need to do is just sew it on top. So I've just sewn the sides together, and then this is just going to be folded through. I'm gonna go and press all of this out. And then just have to stitch down the top bit this is really hard to do with one hand, <laughs> but um, when that all comes through properly, you just stitch it down neatly on there, and then you have a cuff, and then it's the most satisfying looking thing ever. And there we go, there is a finished cuff. This is what they look like on my toile, and I'm going to have some sort of straps, but I'm not decided which fabric yet. Now I'm going to move on to the button placket. I haven't decided if I'm doing buttons or poppers for this dress, so... But the button placket is almost exactly the same as the cuff, actually. So I have a two centimeter strip with a little seam allowance at the side, and it's folded, and it's been folded over with a bit of interfacing in the middle to make it a bit stiffer. And so the bit with the seam allowance just goes on the back, so that will get sewn down under the back and then this will just fold over and be stitched down the front. 
and I'm also going to add a bit of piping in. So this is the piping I made before I made this dress so that I could just reach for it and not have to keep making it. So when I do turn that over this will just be turned over and stitched down with a bit of piping down the side. So yeah, that's what I'm doing next. I always have to take my time on these bits because if they look off then it's really obvious. That's the finished placket with the piping on it. I would recommend pinning this down when you do it because otherwise it goes a bit bumpy and really tricky to sew. But yeah, that is now done and I'm going to move on to the collar next. So this is the shape of my collar for this one. So you have two pieces like this, one interface and one not. And then there's a little collar stand which goes around the neckline and again one piece interface and then just one normal piece. Okay, so the collar is now attached to the stand, like so. And sometimes I'll top stitch around the collar, but today I don't think it would look right. But I am going to now attach this to the neckline and pin that on. And there we go, the collar is now attached to the dress. It just needs a good press. The collar's sitting nicely on the dress now. And the placket worked. That's all been just pinned into the mannequin for now. And yeah, it's getting there. That's what the back looks like. It all needs a really good iron. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is what the cuff turned out like. And then I need to hem the length of the skirt and attach some ties. I'm not sure which colour I want to do in the ties yet. And some buttons or poppers. I'm trying to sort a few returns out this morning. I ordered from the first time from Stradivarius, Stradivarius clothing brand and my order doesn't show up on my account so I can't actually return anything. So I need to call them and be like, yo, what's up? <laughs> I did get the cutest bags from them though. So that'll be in a clothing haul that's either gone up before this or after this, so look out for that. They also um, stock Stradivarius on ASOS so part of the stuff I got from here was from like on ASOS because I got a student discount also yesterday my Amazon order arrived and it's this um, cotton bias binding but it's not in the right colour so I'm going to send it back and I issued a refund and it said you have been refunded the full amount you don't need to send it back <laughs> I was like so I got some free bias binding, but I'm too scared to use it in case they're like, oh, actually, send it back. <laughs> I am actually going to put some normal clothes on today because I have to go into town to do a top shop return. And then I'm going to collect all of my books that I need for my business essay to take home and do when I go home on, I go home on Wednesday, but I'm going to do it, start it on like Friday have stuff with friends as soon as I go back. I'm gonna go and pop into town and then go to the library. This is what I'm wearing, just very casual. It's raining outside, so I'm not that bothered. <laughs> I'm now back from the library and going into town. I got almost everything I needed and then I forgot one really important thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go back out soon, which is a shame because it's really miserable and raining. But now I'm gonna film a video because I haven't filmed one in ages. And I have a lot of new clothing that I want to show you guys that I'm so excited about. There's a little sneak preview of all the clothes. So yeah, I'm just going to sit right there and film my video. I'm hoping the lighting's going to be okay because it's really dark outside. But I'm sure we can make it work. I'm home for Christmas. <laughs> So this is the mess of my room right now. This is an accumulation of everything that has been sent here whilst I've been away. I've also just been to the dentist and my teeth are perfect. 
thankfully. So yeah, now to get on with sorting out this room. Because it is not livable in right now. <laughs> I am, however, going to put my Christmas decorations up quick. Oh, got a So it's Thursday today and first I'm seeing Sophie and Tabitha who I haven't seen in forever. I don't think I've seen Tabitha since New Year's Eve, which is just crazy. But anyway, we are going off to Pistol Village and then at like 2, Zach is arriving and I'm taking him to the Christmas lights at Blenheim for part of his little Christmas present. I'm going to try and bring you along with some of it but I do keep my private life quite separate from YouTube so if I don't film anything then don't be angry. <laughs> this is my outfit for today. Oh my gosh it's so nice to have a mirror that I can actually get a full length from. So this coat is from Topshop. Super fluffy and then underneath I have on this striped jumper it's quite a fine knit jumper but it's really old from all saints then the faux leather trousers are from h&m and my boots are zara and then i'm also taking my little stradivarius bag which is just the cutest thing so yeah i really like my outfit today i can tell already that my hair is just going to be a frizzy mess today so i'm kind of just accepting it also, I feel like such a vlogger with this little mount thing, but <laughs> it's made my life a lot easier. So yeah, gonna head off to Vista now, and I'm gonna try and bring you guys along with me. We'll see how this goes. i will also be horrendously busy with Christmas shoppers, so that wouldn't be nice. Spotty, you haven't said hello yet. She's like, just let me out, I just can't be asked to be in this room anymore. Oh, can I just... I've been a really bad vlogger and I haven't filmed anything with my friends or Zach. I did film little clips of the Christmas lights and a tiny bit of Pista Village but I hadn't seen all of them in ages so it was just a big old catch up and just nice time spending time with friends and Zach. But now I'm off to a neighbour's Christmas party thing, not staying very long. And then I'm going Christmas food shopping with mum, which I am just so excited about. So this is what I've got on. I've just got on my big Hollister scarf, Jack Wills jumper, H&M jeans, and then I'm wearing my Ugg boots because comfort is key. <laughs> this is what doing your essay last minute looks like. <laughs> I actually reached my maximum amount of library books to take out from the library which never happens but i'm gonna go through all of these books and see how much i can cram into my brain these are all my books so i'm trying not to get them confused with the library ones but yeah i'm just gonna be sat here doing my essay all day and all day tomorrow and probably all day the next day i really need to get this done I have so much other work to be doing that I'd much rather be doing than this. It's quite a few days later now and since I filmed and I'm so hot. <laughs> I've just been to Tesco and done like the biggest shop I have done since being here. So I'm going to fill my fridge back up and yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. Some of the bits. I'll put you in. I've got a nice full freezer and a nice full fridge. Yeah, yeah. You can tell when people aren't here, 
Helen's not here. Ella's not here. <laughs> but Rosie is here. <laughs> Hello room. I left you in a bit of a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the next day now. I got back yesterday. I just had a day of sorting my room out. I had so many bags to unpack. I don't know why I took so much home. I thought I'd managed to get some filming done at home and maybe some blog pictures, but no, nothing of the sort. <laughs> so right now I am in my super duper cozy hoodie which is even kind of fuzzy wuzzy on the inside as well um this is from m and it was in the sale and normally these sort of hoodies are just like cotton lining like the hood is but this one actually has warm lining so i'm so cozy and i've got my joggers on and i'm gonna get on with making some bags my garments are hanging up over there I've only got really small bits to add, like buttons and some poppers, um, and then those are finished. And I've just been contacting some girls back at home to try and get a photo shoot together. I want to do it in the countryside. So yeah, I have such a strong image in my head of what I want, um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes okay. Right now I'm going to sit on the floor and draw out my bag pattern, cut out, make it and that is the plan for today really. I also officially handed in my business essay on the turn it in thing. So that is gone and no more business ever. I actually really did enjoy writing it in the end because um, it was quite fun. It was like a little business that I would potentially want to start one day. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. And I should probably do this first actually, um, I bought 20 metres of curtain lining <laughs> just to twirl in because they'd run out of the one I normally buy but this one I think will be a bit better because it's, um, it's quite opaque. And then I also got 10 metres of this stuff for doing ties on twirls, 20 metres of piping because it's super cheap there. And then in here, like some buttons and poppers and things for the outfits. And then on here, I have 10 meters of thick, um, just heavy weight. Well, actually this is medium weight calico. So yeah, fully stocked up for twirling. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these on this roll. Probably, I'll probably put the 20 meters on this roll um, and then this has PVC on it so I can't really take that off because if it gets creased and it's really hard to make nice again but I don't know if I'm actually going to use that <laughs> there's only one meter on it so I might take it off and put the medium weight calico on it So I haven't been very good at filming and I can't remember the last thing I filmed. I think it was starting to make these bags. But I made these little bags to go with the dresses and I've just been making twirls since I've made two more outfits for Thursday and it's Tuesday today. These are all sheepskin offcuts so they were going to go to waste anyway. So I'm not really into the whole real fur thing but this is still kind of being sustainable with just using remnants that were going to be thrown away anyway. I know I haven't updated you all in a good while, but I've just not 
been having the best week um, mentally, so I just scrapped it kind of. Was just head down and doing work. So yeah, I've been looking like this for a few days. Just the same hoodie, the same joggers, and thermals underneath. <laughs> but I've almost got all the work done I need to for my crits. Tomorrow I'm doing my 12 outfit lineup, which is gonna take ages. And I also realised I have so much sketchbook work to do. Um, my hand in is in just over a week, I think.